Hi students, welcome to Bosco Campus Vision. I am Shankar Ganesh, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Application, Don Bosco College, Kotiyam. I am delighted to present a lecture on the topic Application Phase and Organization Learning, which comes under the fourth module of Information Systems and Knowledge Management. This lecture is meant for Semester 5 BCA course of Kerala University. In this lecture, we are going to discuss knowledge transferring, sharing and tools. These tools are designed to tap the collective experience, knowledge and expertise of the peers, co-workers and partners and to more effectively share the results of the work with others. The knowledge sharing tools are simple, quick and proven to be effective for providing and promoting open transparent discussion on topics, activities and projects with the work. First one, peer assist meeting. A peer assist is a meeting that brings together a group of peers to get feedback on a problem solved, project under execution or activities carried out. The meeting seeks to learn from participants knowledge and experience with the topics related to the problem, project or activity. A peer assist meeting can happen before an activity to help with the planning process or during an activity to help steer the direction. Second one, after action review meeting. An after action review is a meeting to capture lessons learned immediately after an event, project or an activity. After action reviews should be carried out immediately after an activity or event while the team is still available and memories are fresh. Third one, retrospect. A retrospect is an in-depth discussion meeting that happens after the completion of an event, project or an activity to capture lessons learned during the entire activity. A retrospect meeting helps individuals involved reflect upon and learn what happened, why it happened, what went well, what needs improvement and what lessons can be learned from the experience. Fourth one, online communities meeting. Online communities are groups of people who interact in an online environment to discuss and share resources around a common topic. One type of online community is community of practice that is COP which is groups of people who share a concern, a set of problems or a passion about a topic and who deepen their knowledge and expertise in this area by interacting on an ongoing basis. Next is barriers to knowledge transfer. There are barriers to the knowledge transfer. They are first one lack of trust among knowledge workers and knowledge creators. The reason could be cultural diversity, language difference or difficulty in communication. Second one, lack of formal opportunities made available to interact and to transfer knowledge. In view of this, there is a lack of affinity or emotional attachment among the members where knowledge transfer is absolutely essential. In other words, there is no motivation to transfer without fail. Third one, the status of knowledge holder also creates a barrier in the transfer process. Many times, the people in high position suffer from ego and are unwilling to transfer. Also, status conscious people may have political reasons for not transferring knowledge. Fourth one, knowledge transfer does not take place because those who are holding it decide its utility and make decision on transfer. They fear that their pride of holding knowledge would be lost. The barriers of knowledge transfer are handled carefully and set right in the following manner. First one, systematic planned periodic transfer of tacit knowledge among experts and users. Second one, systematic planned periodic transfer of explicit knowledge from knowledge centers to knowledge users location. In this lecture, we have discussed knowledge transferring, sharing and tools. Hope all of you have understood the lecture. Thank you.